How long would it take for our bones to fuse together? As a baby, you were born with about 300 bones, but as an adult, you only have 206. So what happened to the rest? The answer is a lifelong process of change and strength. A newborn baby's skeleton is a marvel of engineering. Many of those bones are not true, hard bone yet. They are soft, flexible cartilage, especially in the skull. This design is crucial for a baby's journey through the birth canal and allows for the rapid growth of their body in the first years of life. Those soft spots on a baby's head, known as fontanelles, are actually gaps between the skull plates that allow for a growing brain. They are a perfect visual of the temporary state of a baby's bones. As we get older, our bodies begin a process called ossification, where cartilage is replaced by bone and separate bones start to fuse together. This isn't an overnight event. It happens in stages throughout our lives. For example, the bones in your wrists and ankles that are separate in childhood gradually fuse to form the larger, stronger bones you have as an adult. The most critical part of this fusion happens during our teenage years. This is when the growth plates in our long bones finally harden and seal up, marking the end of our vertical growth. But the process isn't complete yet. Some of the last bones to fully fuse are in your pelvis and your spine. This final stage doesn't complete until a person is in their mid-twenties. So the answer to how long it would take is a journey of over two decades, transforming you from a flexible infant with over 300 parts into a fully formed adult with a solid 206 bone skeleton. And you, how long would you last?